Ever wondered how to move around your projects or timeline using time codes? Today we're diving into time codes in Final Cut Pro. Let's do this. You'll find the time code under the viewer. It shows hours, minutes, seconds, and frames by default. In our 24 frames per second project, 24 frames make up one second, just a handy tidbit. Now let's glide our playhead to a specific time code. Click the middle of the timecode display or press the shortcut Control P. It'll turn blue. Then type in the timecode value you want to go to. For instance, we'll type 1, 0, 6, 2, 3, and hit return. Boom! We're now at 1 minute, 6 seconds, and 23 frames. By the way, before we move on, a thumbs up from you would be awesome. It tells me I'm doing well and helps others find this video. Thanks a bunch. There's another cool trick with time codes in Final Cut Pro, but first make sure you haven't selected any clips. We want a clean slate. Hit the plus sign to move forward in the timeline. For example, type 2, 2014 to skip ahead 2 minutes, 20 seconds, and 14 frames. Then hit return. Boom! You've zipped ahead in your project by that much. By the way, if you want to see time codes differently, here's a neat thing. Go up to the menu bar, select Final Cut Pro, and Settings. Or just use the shortcut command comma. Choose the General tab and pick how you want time displayed. It could be time code, time code, and subframes, frames, or seconds, whatever suits you best. It might be a bit tricky, but now you've got the hang of moving around using time codes. Next up, let's dive into adding timers in Final Cut Pro. These cool animated timers are fantastic for fitness, cooking, or sales videos. They'll make your projects look super pro. Click here to check it out. 